Aloha golfers. Welcome to Golf in the Cosmos, episode number 10. I'm Kevin Robalski, and here we talk all things Mac O'Grady and Morad. Today is part three of the video series with Dave Stockton and Ron Stockton, and today he's joined by Dave Stockton Jr. So Mac is going through a very similar process, swinging simultaneously with Ron and Dave Jr., and then diagnosing and refining some of their uh, moving parts. And mostly what you're gonna see with Dave Jr. and Ron is the typical teenage golf swing, kind of long, kind of loose, and that wraparound follow through. And so Mac is, again, really um, diagnosing the points as the left knee movement, left foot movement, right knee straightening, and, uh, and then that follow through where the left arm tends to get low and the kids tend to have a wrap around finish. So that point was very interesting. I mentioned it last week is Mac wants the left elbow high. Right? If you get into that classic 1986 Morad follow through, the right elbow's down, the left elbow is high and I'm tilted sideways. Torso tilt number two, to the right. Torso tilt number one, forward. So that helps torso tilt number two when the left elbow is high and really helps you compress the ball and make a divot, right? So if you're hitting the ball thin, try to get that left elbow up higher in the finish and you'll stay tilted more. And especially if you're straightening the left knee. So the left knee is a very tricky movement. So you'll see in this period, you know, and, 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 and you know, it's a case by case basis, but the left knee and some people will tend to slide through impact. So you go from six to seven to eight, and you'll see that knee flex continue to stay bent. And so this is a very interesting subject, right? The left knee should stay bent all the way down to P6, from P6 to P7, it's still slightly bent, but it's straightening, right? And so what does straightening mean? So this is, this is you know, a little bit of a, of a subtlety. It's very nuanced. So straightening means that the left knee is coming into extension, right? But not hyperextension, right? So that would be, this would look like hyperextension, right? And this is about straight. And then this is bent. I think when Max is hitting iron shots off the ground, his left knee is ever so slightly bent. It looks like a soft left knee. Driver, he's definitely close to hyperextension. So I would say to get power, snapping the left knee back is not a bad idea. It's gonna make your hips go faster. And you can see at the end of this video, Mac hitting the driver very powerfully, really snapping the knee, left knee, and really generating a lot of hip speed. So this particular video goes from Mac working with Dave Jr. and Ron, and then it morphs into another video, probably taken, I wanna say, a year later, still working with the Stocktons, um, and then Gary McCord, joins them. So um, Gary is introduced in this video and then next week's video will be a continuation from there. Again, really great information. Um, Mac talks a little bit also how the swing differs between clubs, both address and I think that is also a nuanced point with the left knee. Hitting off the ground the left knee probably stays slightly bent to just barely straight. And then driver, the straightening is more magnified, almost going into hyperextension, right? And we see a lot of modern players do this, including Tiger, right? Tiger, especially um, early in his career, really snapped the left knee back 
And that's what causes the left foot sometimes to change position. Of course, Mac didn't do that, but um, certainly you'll see how um, aggressively Mac straightens his left knee with the driver. And you can see that's a subtle difference between hitting the irons and the drivers. So, you know, in, in terms of checklist, there are, even to the general model, there are variations based on what club you're hitting. And especially that's true when you're looking at the nine different windows, and that'll be something that we'll discuss um, in a future video. But not only are there characteristics of the swing that will create the different windows of curvature and trajectory based on the ball curving to an intended target, but within the window characteristics uh, themselves, there are variations that you do between clubs. So for example, to hit window number one with a driver and to hit number window number one with a lob wedge, there are also variations to each club to do that. So that all is diagrammed in the later MORAD checklists. So um, something that we can talk about in another video. So um, I hope everybody enjoys this. Um, thanks for your positive comments. I definitely try to respond to questions, comments, emails. If you call me, I probably am not going to return your call. It's not out of disrespect. It's just that I'm actually quite busy at the moment. Uh, my teaching schedule is extremely full, which is a good thing but I also have to do my own golf practice. I have tournaments that I prepare for, as well as I teach yoga, I teach handstand, and I practice yoga. So, and of course I'm maintaining a golf school staff and a nine hole golf course. So there's a lot on my plate. I really don't have a lot of time to chit chat about Mac and Morad, but definitely if you have a question, I don't mind giving a brief answer to that. A lot of your questions, though, will be answered in some of these videos, especially the prior videos. So I would suggest watching the videos before you send me a question because a lot of the questions are answered in the videos themselves. So I hope everybody um, is doing well and enjoying their golf and enjoying this program. And I can't wait to share more with you. Aloha. Did you guys see what Mac was doing with me before? Again, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to push this kid. There we go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. <laughs> okay. Back. We're going over here this time. Ready? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Oh, Go. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. One more. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Okay, one more. We'll change the cameras again. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Yeah. Huh? Is that close to Boston? Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Just write it down. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Here. Mark, is this on here? No. Okay. Okay. Just do well, then, William, working with two of you, he's he me a couple of things on you. Yeah. Stay a few Stay. minutes, you're going to learn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. The left arm should be down just a little, little bit. Where David should be up higher. And he should be up higher. By considerable. See the tendency when the left elbow is too see your left your left elbow is too low through through the release of it. Oh. Okay. The problem with it, Good it swing, a, Ronnie. Yeah. It has a tendency to uh, your hands are moving sometimes a little bit too fast this direction. Oh, really? And you kinda of like cut through the ball press to get the ball going off a little bit too fast. Okay. Left elbow has got to come around. It's tight, the arms are tight, the it carves upward, the elbows carve upward. You're actually coming down here and you're lowering it. Here. Here's how it works. Go to section uh, seven, stop. Go to section four, top. Go to section seven, stop. Go to section, okay, this is, this is, this is seven, right? This is section eight where it's parallel. And here, okay, go over to section eight. Here the wrists are starting to cock, right? Keep turning your hips and the elbows cock. I got it down too low. Yeah. See, the reason why I think I got it too low is because I was thinking about keeping my, my arms to the side. It, it's okay, but then it separates. And that's one of the things that are, that's not on that sheet of paper. Okay. I never talk about where the left elbow is. Okay. The other, you know the piece of paper says yeah. the joints? Yeah. I never talk about the left elbow joint. I talk about the right elbow. I, so, yeah. I right. did it because I didn't want it. Because yeah. if a kid can like this, if it keeps finishing like this, he's going to throw off other things. Yeah. Okay. So the left elbow, it goes, it goes like this. It goes, it goes down to the impact, the wrist cock, the elbows cock. As they cock, you come right up and finish. What you're doing, you're coming right through here and your wrists are cocked. That's why I was doing it, because yeah, okay. I just okay. misunderstood it. Right. Yeah, but you've always had a tendency to do that, though, David. Right? I've always gone like this. Right. Yes. Yeah. Instead of putting it where it belongs. There. Aha, uh -huh. good. Yeah. You know, that way, when the elbow gets up and away, you have a tendency to go ahead and keep it tilt down that way. Okay. okay. That's what Gary said. It's about what? Gary McCord said that. Yeah. He said what? Max, show him. Because he said he said to keep it. And, and your head should go right like that. The only thing is your left elbow's got to come up. It goes a little bit above right there. And the right elbow joint is close to the left left shoulder and the chest. So again, now let's, let's both do it. Can you get us both in here? Yeah, hang on. I just want to get clobbered by Ronnie. Okay. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Better, David. Okay. That's much better. All right, again, 1,000 1, 1,000 2, 1,000 3. Okay, one more. Let's do your old finish. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to hit you. 1,000 3. Mac, Mac did it too. All right. All right. <laughs> See, the, the top of his left arm is the yeah. top of the shoulder right there. Oh, okay. Okay. Mark's, Mark's head is up here. Like okay. This. His is much better then. No question. Yes. Okay. 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 Yep. Now his his basic. Need a quick kick. Mark, go ahead.
What are you looking for? Alright, file. Come here. Let's hear your critique. Go ahead. I'm going to three balls. Yeah. I got to critique the whole thing in three balls. That's the right hip, like the left hip. The, uh, what? The, the right leg straightens out a little bit on the back of the swing. How about where's the left knee doing? His left knee. First thing you go, first turn, you always go to the left, left knee. What? Coming back. Comes back too far. Yeah. What? Comes back too far and it makes him slide his hip. Yep. And then to even if it compounds it even worse is if the right elbow starts flying away a little bit yeah. instead of bending right away. On the backswing. Now go on, let's watch his right elbow, see what the right elbow's doing here. Okay. Right elbow looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah pretty good that time. He, he, no uh, fair listening, Ronnie. Not listening. What? What? He looks like he gets it laid off at the top. Oh, that. Is that from from his address position being open? I got it. I know what it is. Does a rookie get to say something? Go ahead, what? Does a rookie get to say something? Sure. His left foot's not turned out enough. That makes his his knee go back across the no back problem. too much. Now, yeah. one of the ways you can turn your toe out, your left toe out, 20 degrees, 20 degrees. more, more. There. Keep moving, turn. Keep turn. There. Okay. Move it. Move it to this alignment. And get a little bit uh, just narrower stance. Okay. Just another word. This is just pure experiment here. Okay. Do it again. A lot better. That looked a lot better. Uh, that see, looked good. See, see how it affected the left sure, knee? Sure. Sure. But now he's got a different stretch going on, and his brain is not used to that as it monitors the inner telemetry of all the data. <laughs> what side are you hitting, David? You know, what in the hell was that? Put your feet just a little bit closer together. There you go. Yeah. That's a lot, a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. Now, just, just the... The position of the left foot is going to affect the range of motion of the left knee, which affects the right hip, which will affect the shoulder turn mm. around the fixed center. Mm. Be a little your elbow up, David. That was really low. I'm just hitting the foot. I don't care what you're hitting. Okay. I'm glad Mac moved his head up and down yes so David would listen. To... <laughs> Boy. Knee moved more that time. Good. How is this kid right here? This is 17. 17. The, um, he's got to make sure his left knee is it's snapping through the ball. So yeah. Now, now, now yeah. he's just going like this. If right. he thought about rotation, then it wanted it to do it more uniform. No, he's got this. He can't hit the ball as hard as he does unless he's got some kind of rotation ball. Yeah. I mean, he. Oh, okay. Now let's, let's look at his left knee. Let's look at his left knee through sections one through. I mean, it's six through eight. Watch what the stick up Six through eight. Okay. Here. A little bit bent. Bent. Bent too much. You see it? Bent too much, yeah. Club got there? Five iron? Five. 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 He's got the club good at the top, goes right through his ears. What? He's got the club good on his finish, it goes right through his ears.
All right, guys. Again. Go. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Anything else? Apple. One more. Okay, we got last one. Hey, David, take that basket up there and corral that thing full of balls for us, will you? So we have some to hit. Thousand three. I'm sorry. Hey, Mac, hit a few, will you please? Is that your camera? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, oh, one just for you, pal. Put we'll them together. Is that your camera? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What? Terrific. It's bigger. I've been taking movies. Thanks. Let me see a few swings, Mac. Above you. He had too much movement in his left foot. I can see that when I got the thumb on the swipe. He only hit the seven iron. That thing should not be getting off the ground. And he'll be sitting down. Okay. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Okay. 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 Thousand 
Okay. Let's see your action before I watch you hit something. It's flawless. Oh yeah, I watched it today. Uh, it cost right. me two hundred dollars to watch his flawless swing. <laughs> Film us, Cap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you're just slightly farther away. Yeah. 